H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. At that point. So what we did yesterday is we actually have a Spring Boot web project. Web project is nothing but Spring MVC. So today I'm going to start with a slide of Spring MVC. What is Spring MVC? What is a framework and how it is working? We'll build that. So we'll create us. Uh, we'll actually go through a single slide, and it's Spring MVC framework is really easy. So let me open that. It's a single slide architecture diagram for Spring. Okay, here you go. So Spring Framework looks like this. So now you know that whenever you are dealing with a web application, what you do is you send the data from the client and you process that particular data, okay, in on the server and come back with a response and response is sent back to the client again. Okay, so for that you use request parameters, responses, JSPs, servlets and all those things so these jsp servlet responses filters and everything are basically embedded into a framework and this framework is called as spring mvc spring web model view controller okay so spring web or spring mvc is the same stuff so spring web mvc framework is designed around dispatcher servlet that handles all http requests and response so what's going on so whenever a request comes from the client okay what is the request by the way it's a url plus data correct so now let's say you ask for um uh, get customer so this get customer comes here okay and it actually hits the dispatcher servlet so there is a single servlet controller model the single servlet controller that is dispatcher servlet takes the request and understand the url when it URL actually comes, it says, oh, okay, this is get customer. Okay. So you just said that HTTP localhost colon customer. So what does customer really mean? Who handles that get customer or customer? Near yeah, that kind of mapping is in handler mapping. So handler mapping is a concept, is an XML or is a Java class which will handle or an annotation which will handle the mapping between your URL and your Java class okay so now url and java class are combined together and this actually returns a java class to dispatcher servlet so dispatcher servlet got to know that who will handle that particular request so now request object will be taken and passed to that particular controller class so now handler mapping with the url you got to know which is the controller or handler class okay now request object as response object is created both these objects are passed to this particular controller so whether it's a servlet or it's a normal controller that is up to us now controller processes this data okay completes the result and says that okay i am done this is the view name so view name will be returned to this guy or dispatcher servlet so this controller servlet says that okay i'm done with this this is my view name this view name it doesn't understand okay so suppose this says customer.jsp so it just says a customer so it controller says that okay i'm done with the response i got it here is the view name customer so now dispatcher servlet has no idea what to talk about now you have to go to view resolver view resolver will identify where exactly your jsp is what is your jsp from the name you provided so this is a name value pair combination okay and view resolver will find the particular resource with JSP to forward this request and response. So now view resolver returns. Okay, customer means get customer.jsp. So get customer.jsp 
actually receives the request and response object and shown to the client so now it will be shown back and shown to the client this architecture is spring mvc if you understand this flow you basically understand spring mvc framework this is what we are configuring in spring boot okay so now i will give you a real use case how it is handling so request is coming through and dispatcher solid handles that request and it actually asks a question who can handle this request to handler mapping handler mapping returns try x controller so x controller is actually returning it so dispatcher solid hey hi handle this request to x controller controller says okay i am done and view name is v1 so dispatcher solid says okay who is v1 i have a response to show to the view resolver view resolver says okay v1 means show me dot jsp okay and then dispatcher solid says hey v1 show this particular response and then show me dot jsp will be delivered to the client i am holding this slide for one minute just make sure you understand the flow and if you have any questions let me know then we will configure this particular thing in our class and what i will do is i will go step by step you know the servlet from servlet will actually go to this um this particular flow okay okay so now let's start now when we say forward one forward two forward three forward four okay i know forward four is spring what is forward three? where is forward framework two framework three framework i do not understand what you say There are no so I'm just talking about Spring MVC. I don't know where this framework two and framework three come from. Okay, I did not understand the question. You, you probably want to unmute yourself and ask the question. Hi, Patty. Yeah, you can go ahead. I heard a uh, few people saying like, do you know framework four, framework three like that? So I know when they say framework four, it's a spring, uh, but I don't know what is frame uh, framework three and framework two. I wanted to know what it is like when they say framework three, is it like JSP servlets or something like that? I don't know. No, I don't have an idea what they are talking about. Okay, they might be using their industry specific terms. There is nothing like framework two or framework three. Okay, we specifically okay. talk about either Spring or Spring Boot or something. Okay, even okay. version okay. Spring Three, Spring Yeah. If you are talking about version that you are right, Anil, then you can actually think about this. There is Spring Four, Spring Five, Spring Three. These are in market. There is no Spring Two as such, but yes, you can say that. Okay, Spring Three, Spring Four, this and that. Yes, that's a version. Okay. So, okay? okay. Thank you. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do now. So now I'll come back to Spring Boot. So this is what these are the objects. Okay, so if you see dispatcher solid in between, so what I will do is I'll run yesterday's example and I will show you where exactly it exists. So yesterday's example, I have this main. We created a controller. I remember hello controller. What it was doing is it was request mapping. This is your. So if I come back and match this, this is your handler mapping. So dispatcher solid passing the request to this handler mapping has. A responsibility of taking this URL and giving the class back. This is what is happening here. You mark it as a controller. Okay, so you return the controller back. So this is a controller class. But who returned that? This process. Request mapping. So request mapping is nothing but what is your handler mapping. Okay, what you did, you have a say hello method, say hello, called from URL, and you return hello.jsp. Okay, and what happened yesterday? We got this hello.jsp, but we got it downloaded. That was a bad thing. Okay, but let's see further. So I'm gonna start this entire web app now. So right click. Okay, generally so okay. You can do that. You can actually go to Spring Web uh, this one and start this also. That also is fine, but that's not a normal custom. So generally we go here, right click, run ads, Spring Boot app.
Now I wanted to show you the implementation of Spring MVC, what we did, whether it's matching to the framework I just explained. Okay. Okay, well done. Now what? Now go to the browser and hit the URL localhost. So HTTP localhost 8080. 8080 slash and you said home. If you enter that, I'm gonna get this error. This is fine. Okay, so this is 404. 404 is bad. We don't want that. Oh, it was not home, it is hello. But I wanted to show you something. Dispatch your servlet. Alright? So initializing the servlet, dispatch your servlet and complete initialization in this 3 seconds. So now your dispatch your servlet is ready. This is what I was talking about. So now it's not home, it's hello. Just make it hello. And hit it. Now I got it like hello. Hello actually received a response back and this is what? This is hello.js. So it's not running that. So this is bad. I don't want to do that. Why? Because Spring Boot is created for RESTful Web Services. RESTful Web Services are responsible to give a response data. Okay. Rather you can map that response data. But how do we do that is like here you say uh, response body. So what it does is it actually whatever you are returning handle it as a string. Okay. This is not a good way of doing it. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just terminate and execute. So this is this is the button we generally use for Spring. Remember that we need to stop the Tomcat itself. Okay, otherwise what will happen? You will get a binding error. Okay, every time student does that. Okay, it, they never stop this and they directly start Spring Boot and you get a binding error. Don't do that. Use this button which will relaunch. So that means stopping and starting. Application shutdown request. So what's going to happen is in response body that means you're going to return hello.jsp itself and it will not parse that as a JSP. Okay, so now I got this Spring Boot application ready. What I will do is I will hit this home again, uh, not home, hello. Right? Hold on. Okay, hit it and you got this. Okay, wait a second. You got this downloaded again, but it's a response body. So, wait a second, what happened? Oh, it got started it properly. Let me stop it and start it again. So what I wanted to do is I want to execute hello.jsp which is in my src main web app. I created hello.jsp and it's not executing at all. How do I do that? I have to do that right. How do I do that? So for that, so why it is converting to home? It's hello, right? It's again giving hello, hello.jsp. I don't want that particular thing. So now what I will do, I will just make sure that Tomcat understands what I'm talking about. So for that, I need to include one Maven dependency. So let's go here and go to Maven repository. And here you have to include Jasper. So Tomcat Jasper is responsible for converting your JSPs. So go ahead and add Jasper and Tomcat. So Tomcat Jasper. It's a 10 version. So I don't want 10 version. Which Tomcat version is included? So let's see Maven dependencies. See the Tomcat version. 
it's a tomato embedded core 9.033 match the same thing why to reinvent the wheel 9.033 spring did that we never did that okay and go ahead and add this in form.xml So these are the dependencies. You can see that this is Spring Framework, Spring Boot. This is one dependency here. There are some exclusions also given. Okay. So and completion dependencies here. We're gonna add our dependency right here. This is for Tomcat Jasper. So now Jasper will be included, and Jasper will be responsible for converting your JSPs. But with this, so now let's run this after it builds with Jasper. This is important, let it take some time, it's fine. Okay, let it complete. And then we will run this code again. So now if I run, the, if I see this, now I should, I should see Tomcat. Embedded Tomcat, and I should also see Jasper somewhere. Uh, where is my Tomcat? Yeah, Tomcat, Tomcat, Embedded WebSocket. I can see those. Where is my Jasper? Yeah, Tomcat, Jasper, Tomcat, Solid API, Julie, JSP API. All these things are for see Jasper EL, that is EL, English language expressions. Okay, all these things are included in your Maven repository now. Okay, so I am hoping that it should actually work. So let's go ahead and run this. So we will be running run as Spring Boot app. Good with this. Uh, let's go ahead and run and see if it's working now. So I don't know why it actually ends up in home. Hello. Okay, still giving that this is some some problem here. Okay, because I definitely know that this should not happen. Let's come back here. Is it hitting a proper controller? Am I going to? I'm doing something wrong here. It's returning hello.jsp, but something is wrong which is not hitting it. Am I seeing this hello call from URL? It's not seeing it, right? I'm not able to see it. Okay, what I will do, I'll start in a debug mode and quickly check if we are hitting this particular method called say hello. We were hitting that yesterday. There's some issue. So debug as Spring Boot app, that's also fine. 